as much as I like the E1, I don't believe I've bought doubles of any of the real working rigs. One is enough. Uh, but I went ahead and picked up this one because now that the uh, line is ending, I, I might need, uh, uh, and I'm doing the videos, I might need this for a prop, for like when I'm telling a story. Um, so I, I went ahead and picked that up because I might need it as a prop in a, prop in a future video. Uh, same with this one. Besides, I thought this was a cool piece right here, this striker. I already did a video review of that one. So I picked up uh, those two right there just for uh, props for future videos. Uh, if, if, if I find any more, I just don't need them. That's the only reason I bought those two. Uh, this is the one that I was pretty happy to find, but I definitely was looking for the tree trimming truck and a couple others. No such luck. So here we have the MBX missile launcher. And in looking at the uh, image right here, it shows that the uh, turret spins around and it goes up and down. So uh, this part right here looks like it's going to pivot right here. Looks like it's going to pivot and go up and down right here. And then it's got a spinning base. But in looking here, it looks like uh, there's a little gun in there. You can see the uh, black gun. I would assume that that's going to spin around. And this might be a little uh, pop-open place right here for, uh, for something. I don't know. But uh, let's go ahead and open it up. Now it has a generic name. I should have looked on the back to see if it has any licenses. It does have a license right here. Freightliner. So maybe it is uh, licensed. I'll check the base and see if it says this Freightliner right here. I'll go ahead and check the base and see. I passed on this piece right here. Uh, this satellite truck. I got one in one of the uh, four packs, the Mission Force four packs. That's enough for me. It's not uh, one of my more uh, desirable models for me. It's got a couple rubber bands on here. I thought that was hair real quick, but it's just uh, it's just a plastic. Got a little missile. Let's see, it was called MBX Missile Launcher. So, uh, no springs. Oh, wait a second, look at this. No, that's just for it to sit on. Uh, no springs to launch it or nothing. You just get to imagine. But still, let's see. Yeah, spinning, lifting, pretty neat. Hopefully, they do uh, another military crew four pack. Just sits right on there. Pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and take these off so they don't fall while I'm looking. That's, oh yeah, you can tell the gun moves already because it was facing more that way in the package. So yeah, spins. Uh, I, I guess you might want to shoot back that way, but then how are you going to stand over here? Unless you're, yeah, there it is. Little, uh, oh, little steering wheel down in there. Just, hey, excuse me. Just as I suspect, a little driver compartment. Looks like a steering wheel, if I'm not mistaken. Can't see any gas pedals, but you know. Got a little seat. Hey, pretty cool. Has some pretty good weight to it as well. Let's see. Treads. Got your rubber treads. So for uh, realism, you got... I don't know if it's going to work. You got to push pretty hard to get them to really work. It's more just for uh, having sitting around. And let's see on the base. It's just says missile launcher. I don't see any copyright. In case if you guys didn't know, that little uh, elephant symbol right there. That's because in Thailand, they revere the elephant. So Matchbox puts the elephant on there. Uh, in honor of the Thailand people. To give them pride in the work that they do. Pretty cool. I don't see anything else necessarily. The uh, side details, very nice. Very nice. Very cool piece. I really like the military stuff they're doing. I think I picked up every one. Maybe not every color of every one, but I definitely have a sample of each one. There you go. There's my uh, 
off the pegs of the MBX missile launcher. Now if I could only find that uh, tree trimming truck and a couple others. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.